very exciting time right now, YouTube. It's Sunday. We have a project. We have all day to work on it. So what we're going to do is take things out of our brain, 3D print them, and then cast them in a substrate where we can inject plastisil to make soft plastic fishing lures. Very exciting times. So these three frogs, these two printed on the CR-10, this one designed in a previous video, check it out if you haven't seen it yet, and this one printed on the ANET A8. We have to encase these and then pour substrate around them that can handle the high temperature of the plastisol we're going to inject that will eventually make these soft plastic lures we can go fishing with. So let's go ahead and do that. I am super thrilled with how this came out. There they are right there. And a lot of people might be asking, why would you do this instead of just printing in flexible filament? Well, flexible filament doesn't do this, right? You need the plastisol to hold up in a fishing situation with different fish biting it and, you know, all that. But this, this is extraordinary for what we're going to do in the future. This means that even though I've seen it done before, it means that you can do it relatively simply um, and it doesn't have to be as difficult as everybody tries to make it out to be. Especially now that I've, I've figured out that you can heat the PLA up and pull it away from the sides of the mold so you don't necessarily have to carve the mold out or anything. You get really nice lines that way because there's no plastisol getting through. This is exciting. This gets me jacked up. I haven't, I haven't had a project like this in quite a while where I thought this is gonna mean something for the future. It means I can design my own lures for ice fishing, for bass fishing, walleye fishing. We can do it, we can do it on the channel, and we can do it relatively quickly. 
So super excited about this. It's super late in the evening right now. It's approaching uh, like 11 o'clock my time, but I'm so jacked up about this. I'm gonna go uh, try and finish a video tonight and post it. So super pumped up. If this is something you're into, subscribe to the channel. This is pretty much what I do. Try and use 3D printers in a sort of different way. And yeah, keep your amps up and your filament dry.